Welcome back to our city where I'm pleased to be joined by Mr. Keith Dent, who is a senior manager for regional programs and called Rising Tide Capital. Keith, welcome to the show. Uh, thank you. Glad How's to your be new here. year, by the way? New Year's going great. Yeah, that's Terrific. good. What about yours? Not bad so far. Okay, fantastic. Not bad. I got my daughter going through midterm exams, so we'll see how that goes. I know. Those exams yeah. can be tough. She doesn't study as much as she should, <laughs> but maybe we'll uh, figure that maybe out we'll, later yeah, on, right? Yeah. You got one of those? Uh, I do. I have a senior, um, so we're trying to get her through her last exam so we can get her ready for college. There you go. Yep. So tell me a little about yourself, Keith. You've never been on our city program. Uh, where do you hail from? Well, I, I hail from West Orange, uh, New Jersey. I, I grew up in uh, Bergen County, and I've been living in West Orange for about 19 years. Uh, and um, I went to Westwood High School, good old Westwood, New Jersey. And I went to uh, college at Georgetown University. So you're oh, a Union yes. County kid a little bit then, huh? And Georgetown, yeah, good little basketball bit. team. Good basketball team. Yeah. So, uh, so, so Keith, you're here talking about Rising Tide Capital. Can you tell everybody what is Rising Tide Capital? Uh, Rising Tide Capital is we're a 501c3 organization. Our headquarters is uh, in uh, Jersey City, New Jersey, um, and we're a, an organization that is really. Um, really concerned about entrepreneurship development in, around the city uh, in northern New Jersey. And how did you get into that, uh, Keith? Um, by, you know, by accident, actually. Um, I saw a, uh, actually an advertisement for entrepreneurship uh, and did a little research. Our uh, CEO, Alpha Demolesh, uh, was featured as a CNN hero uh, by President Obama. And just looking at what, um, what their mission was, I thought it was a great organization. And I decided to get involved. Uh, when we opened our site in Essex County, uh, the office is about 10 minutes from my house. So I said, it's perfect. Oh, yeah, there's a home run. <laughs> so, so how did Rising Tide Capital get its start? With it? uh, it's, a, it's a great story. Uh, Alpha Demolesh um, is of Ethiopian descent. And she, um, they had a very tough crisis. Uh, they're politically, when she was about by the age of two, you know, they became displaced. Um, you know, kind of similar to what we're what we're seeing in this country. You know, seeing around the world. the world today. And uh, so her mom decided that that's not the life she wanted. So she fled to in the United States and she landed in Boston, uh, Massachusetts. Not a bad place to land. Not a bad right? place at all. Uh, so, uh, and she left left her family behind. So what she needed to do is eventually reunite them. And so what she did, she, she had a job as a waitress during the day, and she had a uh, gift as a seamstress. So she just sold her native, native garments at night, and that was how her entrepreneurship, entrepreneurial spirit started. So how, how does Rising Tide Capital actually transform lives? Because you, you, you start off in a really good way there. How does it continue? Well, the way we transform lives is that we, we get individuals that are um, primarily adults uh, that are really uh, interested in starting a business. So what we do is we will we basically will um, take them under their under their wings early on in the process. You know, most of the individuals that have not started the program do not have a business yet, um, but they've had an idea maybe um, maybe as little early as a week ago or as all their life. So we we take them through the process of, of what it means to open, run and operate their own business. And the average entrepreneur that enters your program. Young person, middle age, do, do they have income? Or? Yeah, usually the average uh, person is uh, a mother of two, uh, about 40 years old, uh, has an average income of about 35000 and that falls way short of what they need in order to be sustainable in this, in this state of ours. They need a, probably an additional 15000 in order to be sustainable. Keith, how do they hear about an organization like you? Does somebody, is it word of mouth that they... We even, do. The, even the web would be difficult to find something. Well, we, like do, we do a lot of, uh, lot of advertising. Um, we, the thing that's great about us is that we, we really rely on our community partners uh, to help us out. That's why we're, we're grateful that the city of Elizabeth has decided to um, support the entrepreneurial venture because they have really been res responsible for as far as the outreach here. But we do rely on a lot of community partners like the United Way, uh, Urban League, uh, and... Um, just community partners all around the city, not just Elizabeth, but also Jersey City, 
uh, Newark and other and other parts. Well, the United Way and the Urban League have been in the city of Elizabeth for uh, Urban League. About, uh, we just celebrated the hundredth anniversary or yeah. ninety something. So that's great. They've been around a long time. So it's it's really uh, really important. They, when we do a lot of outreach, connecting with them because they're the ones that are on the ground in the city that really hear. Uh, from the residents that they need additional support. And we just try to come in and try to serve as a resource. Keith, my notes talk about a community business academy. Yes. Can you speak to that? What sure. is that? Uh, the community business academy is kind of the flagship program where most of our students, um, the individuals that are interested in entrepreneurial, uh, entrepreneurs, entrepreneurs come in. So what they do is they, um, we have an information session and then if they, they can decide if they want to apply and then they will go through a 12-week program. It usually it starts at the end of February and will end, in the, it will end kind of the first, second week in May. Is there a cost involved in this, Keith? There is a cost. Uh, the cost varies by income. Uh, we use kind of state HUD guidelines, and so it could be as low as $150 or high as $375. And, and Keith, the concepts that you teach upstart entrepreneurs, is it a business plan or is it even more simple than a business plan or more complex it's than a business plan? It's a little bit it's simpler in that. We, we, we're going to talk about things like, you know, what's a, what's a cash flow statement? Um, what is your break-even analysis? We're going to help them with marketing. Uh, we're going to really go through the basic business cycle of sales and expenses. So they'll really get an idea of what it means to own and operate a business. And then out of, also out of those 12 weeks, we actually put them through uh, a business simulation game for three weeks. Uh, and out of those three weeks, you're actually um, working with a group of about six or eight people, and you're really running a business. Uh, and the great thing about it is that you're not using your own money. That's fun. Yeah. So do you have any startup money for these folks, or do you direct them in an area where they could possibly get startup money? Yeah, we'll direct them. Uh, after they graduate, we have uh, the program, which is called the Business Accelerated Services Program, and we will provide all of our graduates with an action plan of the steps that they need to do uh, afterwards, and we'll direct them wherever they see fit. If they need a website, um, we'll, help, we'll direct them to our health desk services, and if they need some capital, we, we have what we call the credit to capital program. So we'll kind of assess what cre their credit needs and what capital they may need. And we have partners uh, on the ground, such as um, Intersect Fund, uh, Greater Newark, GNEC, UCEDC, and we'll help them with their uh, capital needs if they need them. So the, how many entrepreneurs have gone through the program? How, how long is this program? How old is it? Uh, well, to date, we've had about 1,100 entrepreneurs that have, 1, gone, through, yeah, that have gone through the program. Um, we'll add more actually tomorrow night. We have our graduation uh, in Jersey City from the, the fall 2015 class. And um, so, uh, and we're looking to add more. Good. The, the, the overall impact on the individual that has graduated from the CBA, uh, do they come back? Do they talk to you? Uh, how do you get feedback from the overall impact of these um, folks? The overall impact, uh, we, we like to view it a lot of ways. Um, is one is if they're creating the jobs, and we've had over about 300 jobs that have been created, and then if they are um, also, get, they don't have to utilize as much public assistance as they did before, and we've had about 30% or so um, of the graduates have reduced their public assistance. Now, oftentimes when you graduate from an, an effort, you know, the support is the same thing when you graduate from a university. Sometimes right. the support is just not there. Mm -hmm. But you have a, you actually work with the entrepreneurs after they graduate from the academy. What kind of support do you give them? Um, we give them support throughout. One of the things we do is we're, we're constantly um, contacting our graduates. We send them new newsletters uh, monthly. Uh, that way they can see what other entrepreneurs are doing, kind of remain involved as family. Sometimes we'll have entrepreneurs volunteer uh, maybe in the game, or we also have other um, workshops throughout the year. Uh, and we just, we try to connect with them just to make sure they're opening, because not all of our graduates will open their business right away. No, but do some of them come back to a future class and say, hey, oh, this is what worked for me? Oh, yeah, absolutely. And we, with our Business Accelerated service, Services Program, we have, always have monthly seminars. And uh, Elizabeth, uh, we're new to the game here yes. with you. So where, where and when will the classes take place in Elizabeth? Uh, the classes will, be, will begin on, tu will be on Tuesday nights uh, at the Trinitas uh, Regional Center. That's, I think it's off Elizabeth Avenue. On the core building. Yeah, in the core building, yes. Um, and that class will be from 6.30 to 9.30. So Trinitas has been a partner in this? Yes. They, they, uh, the city and Krishna Garlic 
ha, uh, has been very helpful in securing that location. For so, us. so the community partners are important to making this happen as far as increasing the number of entrepreneurs and encouraging them as well. Absolutely. And just the, having the opportunity to be on, be on your show is really, I'm sure will be a gateway to helping uh, the, the residents of Elizabeth hear about the program. So Keith, if I'm interested or some of my friends are interested, what, what kind of steps would they take? Does it, do they go on a website? Do they, how, what, do they sign up in Trinitas? How do they, how do they get to see you or, or somebody uh, with well, your the, firm? Well, the, the way, um, so our, the best thing to do is come to an information session uh, and you will find out about them by going on our website, which is www.risingtidecapital.org. Um, our next uh, information session here in this area is going to be on February 3rd, and, that, and you will be the gracious host. We'll be at the council, city council chambers um, from 6 to 8. And then, so if anyone's interested, they can just go on the website, um, or they can call um, my marketing outreach uh, coordinator, which is Brianna Sellers, and her phone number is 201-432-4316. And her extension is one, two, three. Now, Keith, we'll are, you, just set up. Are, you, are you basically just in New Jersey at this stage? We're basically in New Jersey, yes. Okay. But what, the way it works is that we'll have individuals, if, if they can make it to a class, um, we will have 10 classes going simultaneously, eight in English, two in Spanish. So if they can get to a class, if they're coming from New York City, they're welcome to attend. So do you have a favorite story about an entrepreneur that you want to tell me before the break? Or, uh, um, well, we have a, we have a great uh, entrepreneur um, here in the in city, um, here in your city. She's off of Rawway Avenue called The Brand, uh, the brand Name. She couldn't oh, yeah. be here today. Uh, she was I know just, the place, though. Yeah, she was get back, yeah. just getting back in town. In the, um, and Josefina Navarro, her... Mm -hmm. um, she, was, she thought the class was really helpful and really beneficial to her being successful in her business. Keith, I want to thank you for taking the time to join us on the show, and I look forward to working with you in Trinitas and encouraging uh, people to become entrepreneurs and as well as try to start their own business. Great. Thank, thank you. Thank you, Keith. Thank you. Please stay with us after these messages. We'll be back with more about the Coalition to Shelter the Homeless, Ms. Linda Flores-Tober and Mr. Mike Jones. Stay with us.